he's looking for the deep ball now. And uh, man, as you see today, is up there. So if you're not gonna back up, this is a warning to everybody. If you're not gonna back up, good luck. Today, I mean, you gotta choose one. If we both on the same side, uh, that safety gotta choose one. And he, uh, no one's guarding him one on one. So mm -hmm. you know, he choose to stay on top of me on something, then CD wide open and vice versa. So I think, uh, and then you got Gallup on the back just. MG going to do his thing, and, you know, JT showing up at camp. Uh, I mean, we got a core, so we all complement each other in, in, in a great way. Good people. It's your boy, Mr. Room. Cowboys fan talk. Right back. Like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? What's up with y'all, man? How y'all feeling? Happy Sunday evening. Sorry I'm getting here late. Just got done making some chicken parm for the fam. It's a good day, man. I'm feeling good. Feeling good about our team. And I just wanted to, you know, jump in here and talk to my peoples. You know what I'm saying? I can't stay away from y'all too long. I'll be missing y'all. Hey, and we are pretty much 100 away from 20K. Y'all been doing y'all thing, man. Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate y'all. Seriously. Um, let's talk these receivers, man. You saw the clips when you do video. You clicked on the video. You seen it. You seen it. I just had the, I touched on this yesterday in the live stream. Check the live stream out. Um, it felt good to get back in here and talk to y'all live. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all perspective on things. But our receiving core going to be nasty. You know, I tweeted out earlier today. I was just saying, like, you know, the over-excitement over the Mike McCarthy comments about, you know, I want to run the ball and rest my defense. I know y'all want to be excited. I know y'all want to say the Cowboys is going to be ground and pound. Relax. We not. <laughs> we are not. We are going to throw that pill. We're going to throw that pill. Um, you see them dots, the deck is dropping the cooks. And and, and, and I know it's, 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 it's um, the pads ain't on yet, and things can change, and our defense is no joke, but I really feel like the fact that our defense is so stingy, you know what I'm saying, uh, that our defense is priding itself on shutting down our offense. It's going to really make our offense play better in tight situations versus better defenses. I really like it because we got some of the best corners in the league, some one of the best pass rushers in the league. So when the pass rush element gets added, I'm going to love to see Dak operate under that. But, you know, Brandon Cooks said it best, you know, and CD, but Brandon Cooks just saying like, well, you know, you gotta choose one. You gotta choose one. You can't just stay on me. If you choose the double CD, this ain't last year where you choose the double CD and be like Noah Brown gotta beat me. Brandon Cooks ain't Noah Brown. I'm sorry, no disrespect to Noah Brown. I know he's been catching it lately, but still, you leave Brandon Cooks alone, you're gonna be seeing a whole lot of three plus four equals seven. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. And God forbid you just forget about Michael Gallup. Because Michael ba Michael Gallup got a chip on the shoulder. He hear the noise. He see people that he just gave up on him. And I like all of that. And they do too. Sleep. Please sleep on Michael Gallup. Please put your third corner on Michael Gallup or your slot corner. So he can just muscle the dude. Because Michael Gallup ain't no real little dude. Not as a receiver. His athleticism, he's going to jump over, sky over, and out, out athletic pretty much 90% of the, the slot corners in the league. It's not going to be fair. Most second corners can't run with Cooks. They just can't. They can't. I can't wait. I dare you to put James Bradbury in a, in, in a zone situation on Cooks and watch Cooks eat. Watch me. Because you know Bradbury ain't good, man. Last time he tried to cover C.D. Lamb land, um, in a man situation, he got burnt over the top. But you heard C.D. You heard him. This is a warning to the NFL. The irony is, like, people say, yo, stop talking. I'm like, nah, nah. I think CD just sees it. He said, Dak's looking for the deep ball now. Now, the crazy thing is like this. They say Kellen Moore's scheme is designed to go intermediate, or inter intermediate to deep. But when you don't got the personnel, everything is intermediate. You run in stop patterns. You just don't have the personnel to go over the top. We just did it. Now we have the speed. It's crazy how one addition can change everything. As the Eagles were. A.J. Brown changed everything for them. Receiving game got a lot better. 
Brandon Cooks changes everything for us. It literally, because it moves everything around. I've said this countless times. Having Cooks on this roster changes things. Having Tolbert with another year under his belt as our fourth receiver changes things in an amazing way. You know? I just can't wait to watch this thing unfold. You know, if you look like, go back and watch the clips in the beginning. CD Lamb ain't saying it like he not trying to talk trash to nobody else in the, the conference or the division or nothing. He's just saying, listen, I see how y'all played us last year. I see how y'all set on routes. Y'all, y'all, y'all played over the top. Let us get our underneath routes. Cause y'all knew we was running a, a, a digit system. Y'all knew we was running those option routes. And y'all just kind of played over the top. I had to move into the slot to get open sometimes because you're just going to bracket me. Like, this is an acknowledgement. All of this is nuance. Without saying it, without saying it. Saying something without saying it. But to say, okay, it's a warning. I dare y'all to sit on it. Like, it's because CD knows the offense. He knows what we're going to be running. And he sees the open, like, the capability. Like, you watch the whip route that Kevontae Turpin ran on that play to Cooks. Watch, Watch the underneath route. And watch how open it is because of that action. And you having to pay attention and watch how Cooks gets open. This offense is going to be phenomenal. And it just kind of seems like the shout out to my boy Jay Tuck and my boy Boss Cowboy. They did a show um, yesterday while I was live. I didn't even know. I watched it late. The one thing that stood out to me during their show is Tuck was saying, you could just see that on offense, everyone ain't thinking no more. You can see it in the stride, in the, the execution. People are just snapping into place and be, they, they, they're getting to their spot quicker. It's more reactionary. It's like defense. When you start react, remember Mike Nolan had our defense just kind of like overthinking and two different, too many different type looks and it, it was just overcomplicated. And then Quinn came in and said, I'm going to simplify things, make people, put people in places that, you know, accentuate their, their strengths. And we've been off to the races ever since. Defense has been clicking, clicking, clicking. And I feel like Mike McCarthy, Schottenheimer, Solari, the offensive line coach, that's what they're doing. Let's simplify things. Let's streamline things. You know what I'm saying? And not to, you hear a whole lot of, why you got to simplify things for Dak? Because, you know, people want to look and find a negative. You're not about simplifying things for Dak because you think he's stupid. All right, like come on. Let's let. If you want to be condescending, indirectly, you know what I'm saying. Just say that. It's not about that. It's about making the offense more effective, less thought, not less thought because of people's you know understanding. No, because I want you to get to spots quick at the full capability of your athleticism. It's that simple. Tolbert said it. I was thinking too much because the system had too much going on. You feel me? Dak has to release the ball not knowing if the receiver sees what he sees. That's kind of idiotic to me. And good luck with that in, 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 I want to say San Diego, in L.A., in the Chargers. But right now, right now, the way our offense is about to come together, I'm telling you, I mean that tweet with everything in my soul. Y'all don't fall for it. Do not fall for the fact that you think we're going to be a ground and pound team. If you think we're going to go out there and throw the ball 22 times and run the ball 35 times, you are sadly, sadly mistaken. I can still see us getting like 22 runs. But Tony Pollard's going to be catching out the backfield, Deuce Vaughn out the backfield, Rojo, Malik Davis. Yeah, we're going to be throwing that pill. And I said this last night. Dak Prescott's completion percentage is going to go up by default. He's going to get six to seven short passes a game that are like high percentage completions. Like six or seven high percentage completions. He's not going to just be throwing in the tight windows all game with receivers that can't get separation. Because like Brandon Cook said, you got to choose one. Choose a poison. You cannot cover us all. <laughs> I love every second of it. Look at your boy, Mr. Rome. Please let me know what y'all think in the comments. About, first of all, that sweet dot. You've seen that dot. It was a thing of beauty, wasn't it? Dak the Cooks. You already seen Dak the CD. And you already know how Dak the Gallup looked. 
It's going to be a good year, man. Y'all have a good Sunday.